DVD era TV back at y'all live from the dirty section of YouTube. Today we're going to talk about Mano celebrating Alpo death and what led up to that. If y'all don't know who Mano is, Mano's a rapper from Brooklyn who did 10 years in jail for kidnapping. Mano's a serious dude, not known to be no sucker, known to put hands on people, rappers, whoever. Definitely one of the rappers, the few rappers that live what he's talking about. It's even known that Mano was in East New York shopping in a sneaker store when a dude ran up on him and tried to rob him when he took his gun and shot the guy with his own gun, allegedly. Now, he had relationships with other, you know, Brooklyn legends such as Rad, Polite, um, Killer Ben, Boxing Ball, and apparently Demencio. If y'all know who Demencio is, I did a piece on him too, a little video explaining how Alpo had him murdered in D.C. He was a Brooklyn legend also getting money in the streets in the 80s. Now, I don't know too many stories about Demencio being violent, but one thing I do know is he got money in the 80s and all that. He went out to D.C. to get money. Alpo ended up being in D.C. They had a little problem back and forth, and Alpo ended up getting him killed by Wayne Perry. Now, if you don't know who Al Poe is, just cut the video off and go do your research. Everybody should know who Al Poe is by now listening to this video. So, not too long ago was rumors of Al Poe being at Mano and Jim Jones' party, which was Jim Jones' birthday party, actually. And he was there. Now, he spoke to Queen's Flip and cleared the rumors like, listen, it's too much history between us two for me to be hanging out with them. That history he's talking about is Jim Jones' relationship with Patricia Porter and the Porter family and Mano's relationship with Demencio. Now, let's just say, hypothetically speaking, Mano don't have a relationship with Demencio or never had a relationship with Demencio. Mano is still a street dude, Al Poe told. And Demencio was an honorable street dude getting money. A Brooklyn legend. Now, just being from Brooklyn and knowing that, you can't rock with Al Poe because you feel like he killed one of our legends. A getting money dude, an honorable dude. You know what I'm saying? And not only these legends leave behind families. They have kids they leave behind. They have brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles sometimes. And if you have a relationship with the family, you're around that family. You hear stories told about this person when you eat with them, drink with them, chill with them, hang out with them. And you know in your head who killed them, you can never rock with that person who killed them because you have a relationship with the family. You know what I'm saying? And the same thing with Jim Jones. It's a Harlem thing. He got a relationship with Patricia Porter. And he know the Porter family. So he can't rock with Al Poe. And then I heard Al Poe ran down on them before. You get what I'm saying? So it's just like that rumor was debunked. It was a lie. It never happened. Mano was not hanging out with no Al Poe. Now, let's get into the time when Mano celebrated Al Poe death. Now, um, Al Poe got killed on Halloween, you know what I'm saying, 2001. 21, excuse me. I said 2001. He got killed on Halloween 2021, right? That day, Mano posted a picture of Demencio, and he said, Happy Halloween. Now you can rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? So that was just like Mano's stance on how he felt about Al Poe. And, you know, imagine if these two guys would have bumped into each other. I know it wouldn't have just been no, you know, passing. It probably would have been some friction because Mano is one of them dudes, an alpha male. And, you know, Al, Al Poe's a man's man. Now, one thing I could say about Al Poe, he lived his truth. He admits to being a snitch. And, I mean, whether you respect it, you have to respect it. And he's not no sucker. He's still going to push up on you if you got a problem with him. And he's still going to look you in the eye, give you a firm handshake, you know what I'm saying? So that's a real dangerous dude. But get in that comment section and let me know how y'all feel about this. Mano celebrating Alpo death. Did he take it too far? Was it justified? Or it was just an immature act on Mano? Get in that comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Shout out to all my supporters. Y'all got me at 400,000 views plus in just 28 days. So salute to y'all. Thanks for all the feedback. Positive, negative, it don't matter. One.